me. <laughs> Hell yeah. You guys ready to get this show started? Yay! All right. Well, I'm excited. The uh, This first comic up, Julie June, she's, uh, I think, yeah, she's a two-time defending tag team champ at Montevilla down the road. She's, whoop, whoop. She's, she's game to play. Everybody give it up for Julie June. Julie! Hey, everybody. Thanks for having me. Hey, uh, what do you call a, a comedy show where the whole lineup is all female comics? Yeah, it's, a, it's a male comedy booker who's trying to get laid. I know what you're thinking. We're not all female. What about Christian? I mean, half of his material is about his micro penis. So, and if my labia is bigger than your micro penis, I'm the man. <laughs> yeah, not not to brag. Uh, I have a pretty good sized labia. In fact, I have an impression of my labia. You want to see it? Too much? Too much? Don't be labiaphobic on me. There's more labia material. In fact, sometimes uh, my labia writes me little letters. She's like, Jolie Joan. She's Russian. She says, why do you have to wear these high-waisted pants to choke me out? Well, and I write her back, little tiny letters. Uh, because uh, they make my waist look s snatched. Come on. And they make my butt look bigger. Well, they make my butt look longer. <laughs> but I'll take longer, it's still bigger. <laughs> so I'll take it. Uh, yeah, you know. My labia. Do you guys mind if I get a little graphic? My labia is so big. <laughs> that when I'm having sex, sometimes my labia actually goes inside of me a little bit. And it, it's like, there, it feels like there's like m more girth. You know what I mean? And he's like, oh yeah, you like that. And I'm like, it's not you, it's me. Thanks, Q. <laughs> All right, I know you're dying to get to know me. Little about me. When I was a kid, uh, my dad was a pastor. And so I, I never thought that he would leave me. But he did. Isn't that sad? <laughs> Not that he left, but that he was a pastor? <laughs> what an attention whore. On a stage every week with a microphone talking to strangers? Wait a second. I'm realizing in real time right now. I'm turning into my father. Uh-oh. Yeah, speaking of attention whores, uh, I love clowns, the original attention whores. I heard about this girl who fell in love with a clown. Can you believe that? I'm like, why'd you, f how do you fall in love with a clown? You know, and she said, well, I don't know if you know this, but he can make a flower squirt. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, you should marry that clown. <laughs> that sounds like a good one. And she was actually, she was a female clown herself. Fun fact about her, she only ever had one period in her whole life. She had a unicycle. <laughs> so 
such an anomaly. Speaking of periods, uh, you know, it's not an easy gig having a vagina. It's not an easy gig. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me give you an analogy so people who don't have vaginas can understand. Okay. Uh, would you rather get a Happy Meal in a cube-shaped box with everything all wrapped up in a nice package and there's a toy to play with or a bag full of hamburgers and the ketchup packets exploded and they're leaking out of the bag? Those are your genitals. Yeah, there's more food in that bag of hamburgers. There's more food. Uh, but at what cost? You know, you need so many napkins. Yeah, that was a sanitary napkin joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, sometimes I wonder, you know, why did my dad leave me? Why did he leave? Was it because of my mom's cooking? You know, because she, she wasn't, in his opinion, the best cook. And I actually heard him sometimes kind of berating her on her cooking. He was like, it's not good. I don't like it. It's too plain. There's not enough seasoning. He wasn't black. Don't get me. You know, you, okay, you, you, yeah, no, you can, you can look at me and, and, and tell my dad wasn't black. I, di I didn't need to say that. Um, but I was about five years old when I walked in on this fight, and I came to my mother's defense, and I said, you know, that's not fair. She's a great cook, okay? She makes great cereal, and toast. I thought it was helping. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't helping. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my husband asked me the other day, I'm married uh, to a man. An applause for being married to a man. That's the first time. Uh, no, I love it. Uh, uh, yeah, he asked me, actually, and y'all should ask your ladies this. He said, what's your favorite sex position? And I said, you know what my favorite sex position is. I love conolingus. He said, babe, that's not a sex position. That's a sex act. I said, perfect. Act like it's your favorite sex position. My husband has a glorious mustache, so when he goes down on me, it's like the street sweepers coming down Cooch Street. <laughs> a lot of people think conolinga sounds like <laughs> but in my house, it's like <laughs> <laughs> It rotates and everything. <laughs> it's great, it's great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've only lived in Portland for a little while, um, and sometimes I feel like I don't totally fit in, because, you know, I don't do hard drugs two days in a row. Come on, I'm not that lame. But I'm a little lame. I'm a little lame. It happens. What do you think? Do you like uh, you like white girls? Uh, love you love them? Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, see, I feel like at the end of the day, we're all the same color down there. <laughs> Pink. <laughs> Are, is your pussy not pink? <laughs> No, but I mean, down in there. Of course, of course. I agree. <laughs> it becomes, you know, the inside color. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, uh, you know, whenever I'm getting to the end of a comedy set, I always, uh, I always feel like a guy that just had sex with me. I'm like, was that good for you? <laughs> I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, guys. You don't stop. KRS-One.